uh, since the last two years we've got a serious problem uh, with um, sting bugs they call them in Australia these are I don't know, beetle kind of animals I'm not sure what kind of category they belong but they attack our citrus trees um, that's our navel oranges tree this is a limon and that's uh, grapefruit it looks all right now but there's no fruit on it left all the the new fruit has been eaten away or sucked away what they do uh, that one was nearly dead last year this year it doesn't look a lot better but it is a bit better uh, and just because we've got this infestation of sting bugs I'm not sure why we all of a sudden have this problem we had them a few of them every year but not hundreds of them um, we'll keep try to keep them clean these two but our lemon tree which has been doing well for so many years we get normally hundreds of hundreds of lemons on this it's struggling and for the same reason the sting bugs just because it's so big we can't really get rid of them uh, it's you can't use poison either I just have to show you a little bit how bad it is please see that branch there they covered and they're sucking out all the new new growth and all the new uh, fruit see there and over there there's quite a few now because this tree is so high up we can't do anything about it I don't want to use poison because that will um, probably damage the uh, or do some damage to the bees so what we will do I'm gonna do some drastic measures I'm gonna cut this tree because I think this is the source of it um, with some research online and apparently they lay eggs underneath the leaves and since we can't really get to the top of the tree can't do anything about it so we're gonna drastically prune this tree probably to the to the extent that it's probably gonna die but there's not much we can do uh, if it's gonna die then we have to plant a new one it's a shame because it always gives us an awful lot of lemons but it hasn't been done this for quite a while now because of these uh, buggers um, and like I said we don't have any crab foods we get loads of them normally same for the navels, oranges but all the new fruit is just been demolished demolished by the uh, by these buggers so what we're going to do today is going to do some heavy pruning on this tree and we'll, we'll see if it's going to survive it's a bit of a shitty job though because there's thorns everywhere but it has to be done This is what they are. You have to look at the back. You have to be careful. They're spraying this acidy kind of stuff from the back, and then you can get it in your eyes or in your hands. It's not very nice. Put them in water. She put a bit of soap there, but you'll see they will drown pretty quick. This is what they do. They get all the young shoots, and sucking all the juice out of that. And this is, for instance, what happens to the new uh, fruit. Do the same thing. So this this tree normally gives me at least fifty, at least fifty uh, grapefruits, probably more. But I don't have any, anything at the moment. Not much fly. Yeah, there's one here, so it's still there, but I won't have that much. And the same for the navels. Last year we almost lost it because there were hundreds of them, hundreds. 
Yeah. There's another one here. You can see it. Oh, those bastards. Yep. Here we go, mate. So you got still a few bit of fruit left. But what happens is I just kill the suck the juice out of it and then it just kills all the new uh, fruit like here. Get the water there, and that will drown in a couple of seconds. So that's an easy death. Wear these glasses just in case you're not going to get it in your eyes because it's pretty potent stuff. Um, wearing this funny dishwasher gloves. I didn't do it in the beginning, but I ended up with black fingers, and apparently it smells pretty bad too. Uh, it looks like I was a chain smoker or something like that. It was just ridiculous. It took a long long time before to get rid of it. Anyway, so I have to keep on top of it. We want to get some kind of food in the uh, everywhere. Everywhere. No wonder the tree doesn't survive. As I said, pretty drastic. And I doubt if it's gonna survive, but we'll see. And like I said, we'll plant another lemon tree otherwise. But burning it straight away. Get rid of all these animals. And it's the only way to get rid of them. burn the power was due to burn anyway was the um was the lemon uh, branches lemon tree branches are still pretty young but in a fire like this it will burn 